Well, if you haven't noticed, it is hydrangea time. And so I'm with Miss Hydrangea. <laughs> I'm with Kristen from Hydrangeas Plus. And we are just so seeing all these beautiful hydrangeas. And so I can't believe all the different colors on this one plant. It's right. interesting. I know the pinks, the blues, the purples, all on the same plant. Yeah. It's so, famous for that. Ah. It's just beautiful. Now, is this an earlier one? Oops. Because it is kind of early. It is kind of early. Uh, this is one of the new wood bloomers. Hmm. Um, this is uh, David Ramsey, and it's one of our most reliable, for sure. And it's actually showing color and getting deeper and darker with the days. Ah, because it really is only the end of June, so right. I think that's great to have them in the landscape. Yes, definitely. And so how can we get that like this? I mean, I know the plant's gonna do its own thing too, but can we manipulate it a little bit? Yes, for color. There's a couple tricks, uh, the pH of the soil and the available aluminum. Here's a chemistry lesson for okay. you. <laughs> aluminum, the metal aluminum. Together, those will trigger a chemical reaction in the petal and change it to blue. Ah, excellent. Hydrangeas are naturally pink or red. Oh. So around here we're lucky we have a low pH and we have available aluminum. And so we typically see the blues, but here and there, and like me, some other uh, environmental effects mm -hmm. might not mm -hmm. give us blue. We have very alkaline well water. Oh, so that helps. So that helps with the pinks and the purples. Okay. But so to get blue, I have to do a little manipulating. Okay. And this is uh, a package of uh, something that'll help us turn things blue. It's actually called aluminum sulfate. So it okay. has both the aluminum and the sulfur to help uh, change to blue. So you could apply this now. You can apply it even earlier if you want to, but we can apply it now and still get some color change oh, that's on some of the, the petals since that color continues to deepen as the summer goes on. Ah, and what if we want it to be more pink and we more don't have we don't have that water available? Well, you're holding some garden lime and that's really just a pelletized calcium. So any kind of calcium will help raise the pH of the soil. So even eggshells, hmm. you know, break up your eggshells sure. from your breakfast every morning and put them <laughs> on that hydrangea. Huh. And that uh, is good to start earlier because our soil is so acidic. It really needs a lot of applications to get the uh, pH to get up a little bit higher. Oh, so in the fall or in the spring? I'd or? say the spring. Okay. The fall, it might not be around. It's pretty okay. mobile of an okay. event, so, it, so it, it washes right through. Okay. <laughs> so that's kind of nice. Like I said, you have this progression, so you always have hydrangeas in your landscape. That's right, yes. Yeah. Start with the serratas and the climbers, new wood bloomers, and then the old wood bloomers, and even the oak leaf. Oh, yeah, are starting really to come late. on a little sure. bit. And then the paniculatas are like our later July kind of bloom. So yes, all seasons for <laughs> sure. And then as homeowners, what should, what should we be doing with them? If we're, we're not putting on other kind of chemicals, what else could we be doing? Um, you might want to look inside and see if it needs a little fertilizer. Sure. Sometimes when they're setting their buds, the inner leaves get yellow and a little tired. They need a little nitrogen. Uh, so a balanced, time-released product that'll get them through the summer is, oh, is appropriate for this time of year. And then how can we come and get these? Because I want oh, some yes. more for my garden. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're open to the public. There's so certain times it's uh, available on our website. We have a schedule of events there. And then you're always welcome to order and come pick up. Uh, we just aren't always here, so make an appointment and tell us what you want and we can have it ready for you. Oh, that is great. And you're involved with another group. I love that group of oh, nurseries. Oh, yes. Uh, we're a small, uh, small specialty nurseries, the Cascade Nursery Trail. Uh, we make a kind of a little eclipse uh, <laughs> around the Willamette Valley. So come visit us. We have scheduled events um, on our website, CascadeNurseryTrail.com. Uh, well, you can hear, you can find them all over the place or find hydrangeas in many different locations, but you have to come here and meet Kristen by appointment. So you can go to GardenTime.tv, we'll click you over to that website, and you can come and pick up some hydrangeas for your garden. Yep. Thanks so much for all the information. Oh, Yo, you're welcome. Thanks for coming.